In order to characterize the system, it's also necessary to properly define the service duration, which refers to the time it takes to serve a customer. Let's go back to our simple example of a queue with one server and an infinite waiting buffer, and let's consider the evolution of this system over time. When the blue customer arrives, the server is free, so the service of the blue customer starts immediately. A new, orange-colored customer arrives before the server has finished with the blue one, so the orange customer waits in the buffer. When blue customer has been served, that customer leaves the system and releases the server for the orange one. The service duration of the blue client is here the time between arrival and departure, since the blue client did not wait to be served. Then, the service of the orange customer starts. The service duration of the orange customer is the elapsed time between beginning of service and departure. It is represented here with the horizontal orange dashed line. As no customer has arrived in the meantime, the system is thus empty and the server is idle until a new customer arrives, and so on and so forth for further customers. It is generally assumed that service durations are random, independent and identically distributed variables. The service duration is fully characterized by its probability distribution. Again, exponential distribution is a very important and classic particular case of service duration. In this case, it is assumed that if SI denotes a service duration for customer I, then the probability that SI is greater than the threshold S equals the exponential of minus mu times S. Mu is classically used at the parameter of the service duration distribution. The unit of mu is the inverse of the time unit, for example, second minus one. The average service duration is 1 divided by mu. Reciprocally, mu is the average number of clients that the server is able to serve if it is never idle. The offered load, denoted as rho, is an important parameter. Indeed, the average system performance depends on it. Assume that lambda is the arrival rate, meaning the average number of customer arrivals per time unit, and assume that mu is the service rate, equivalently, the average service duration equals 1 divided by mu. Then the offered load rho is defined as the ratio of lambda to mu. Stated differently, rho is the product of the average number of customers per time unit and the average service duration per customer. It is a dimensionless quantity and it is stated in the Erlang unit.